This is at a site not far from Catron House by Mocklin in East Ayrshire. These orange deposits here, following the watercourse, are often mistaken for some form of human pollution. Indeed they can be, but of a much less obnoxious type than you might expect. That is, the watercourse coming down here is coming down carrying ferrous salts of iron. They've been produced by bacteria which are living in the ground and are living off organic material. Now that can be natural organic material or it can be something from humans having um, deposited waste materials like for instance coming out of, out of a cowp where rubbish has been dumped. Now what's happening here is that the one form of bacteria is converting the insoluble iron in the ground into soluble ferrous salts. They then come out through the watercourse and when they're exposed they're converted by another bacterium which requires very low levels of oxygen but is able to use the energy of converting ferrous into ferric to live on. The result of that is that the ferric salts are not soluble so they deposit out in this form. Now this these sheens, these sort of petrol or diesel spillage like sheens on the water, that's very typical of these iron bacteria. You can tell it's not petrol diesel pollution because if you break it with a stick and you find that the, the sheen will reform, then it's petrol or diesel. It just breaks up rather than sealing together again like oil does, then you know it's these iron bacteria. It can be quite significant. The, uh, the, uh, the American and the Russian iron industries originally relied upon bog iron. And bog iron is as a result of vast amounts of this iron here over many thousands of years forming solid deposits in the ground which could then be taken and smelted to produce iron. Apparently you can always tell bog iron products if they're not painted because they have a particular sheen to them because of the other chemicals present within the iron. So it has a sort of shine to the iron. Sometimes you find them, the iron itself appears to be in filaments. So the ferric salts are deposited out in a filamentous fashion. So these bacteria aren't harmful. So it might look like a serious form of pollution, but it isn't. Very common beside watercourses, because iron is a very common material dissolved in water.